Hi everyone! So this is basically going to be a beginner's makeup look for spring. You know, it's very nice, uh, fresh colors, nothing too crazy, very natural, but still very pretty. It's going to be all using drugstore products, so everything's going to be pretty cheap and very accessible. You don't have to, you know, dish out an arm and leg for this look. So hold on one second, we'll get you started! So first you're going to take a very basic concealer. I'm using my CoverGirl Invisible Concealer. Oh, uh, this is... This has been used. It's been very, very well loved, so nothing's written on it. It's in the absolute lightest shade. Comes with a little sponge tip applicator. Just gonna take that, dab it on any problem areas with imperfections. Maybe a little under your eyes. Top of your eyelids. I have redness around my nose, my mouth. Take that. Use my fingers and kind of blend it in. It's not meant to give you a crazy, crazy amount of coverage, but enough to just do something with your skin. Alright, then you're taking the Rimmel BB Cream. This comes in three shades. I'm using the lightest one. It is a 9-in-1 skin perfecting super makeup. I don't know if I necessarily believe that, but it is a lightweight foundation that does contain SPF 25. And it's nice it doesn't have that sunscreeny smell. You take a little. And that's really all you need for your entire face, that little dollop. Excuse my chip nails. Um, I'm going to take that, apply it, little dabs, all over your face. I really like this stuff. It doesn't dry me out. I have really dry skin. And stuff like this, especially things with SPF, really do tend to dry me out. It is really funny considering most SPFs make people look and feel very, very oily. I have that on, and then I told you to put the um, concealer, <laughs> definitely put the concealer over your eyelids, because that's going to serve as a base, or something for your eyeshadow to stick onto. Um, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio in Silent Treatment. It's three awesome shades. I'm really taking my three e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. These we have the uh, angle corner angled outer crease. I call. It. I don't even know what the hell to call this. It's the defining eye brush. Basic flat eyeshadow brush, great for packing on the shadow. Then the crease brush. It's nice and fluffy. It's tapered, slightly rounded. I'm just gonna take the flat brush, dip it into what it, the top shade, which says brown bone, it's a nice pink. Take it, you're just going to dab it all over, apply it, serves a good base. Then I'm taking the defining crease brush, dipping it into the taupey eyelid color. Now, it says it has imprinted on the package what they are. You can use them really out of order. It really doesn't matter. And place that in the outer half of my crease. Take that big fluffy crease brush. I'm going to take that, I'm just going to blend that out. And the way this is applied, because the darker shadows are on the outside, it's going to take your eyes and just stretch them out and make them look larger. Which is always a plus. Alright, today I am taking my Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Eyeliner Pencil in 
deep blue. I don't know if you can tell, it's probably looking at black, but it's actually a navy color. And what the navy does is bring out the whites in your eyes, which therefore makes your eyes look, like your irises look more true to the color that they are. I have green eyes, so this will make my, um, the whites of my eyes look whiter, therefore my eyes will look greener. It's a little different, it's not straight up black. So I'm actually only going to take this in the outer corner like that. I don't know if you can see it, just very slight definition. Do the same thing with the underneath, just a little corner. Yeah, it's really also just going to bring it out. Same thing over here. I'm not even bothered with my waterline. I feel like I got pretty pretty close to that. If you did, you can just bring your eyelid down. Color that in. And I'm just bringing that in. I'm connecting it. And bring it inwards, but with most of the color focus and the intensity being on the outer corners of the eye just to draw it out. trick for getting it really close to your lashes is pretty much to close your eye and then pull it taut and then almost trying to, for lack of words, tickle your eyelashes. Yep. I try not to do the under eyes as well just because if you have a full and circle of eyeliner it tends to just make your eyes look smaller and more enclosed which isn't cute. And then I'm taking my L'Oreal um, voluminous false fiber lashes black liqueur. It's a beautiful, supposedly lengthening foundation. Oh, uh, mascara. I don't know. Brush is tilted. Kind of short bristles. They're not like the plastic rubbery ones. But I like this one. I actually like how the brush is angled already. I don't feel like I tried to put it in. Awesome. And then I'm taking my Hard Candy Fox in a Box blush in Smooth Talker. It's a mix of four different colors. It's an apricot, a lilac, a peach, and a pink. And when you swirl them all together, it makes a really, really, really pretty, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a very natural flushed pink. I don't think it's, it's a very warm, pretty color. So I'm taking that, swirling this big fluffy brush around. I don't know, you can use any one. Mine, I don't even know what this is. Handle got worn off. Smile. Place it in the apples of your cheeks. Okay, so just get a little color going on. Then I am going to finish off taking my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain and Cherish. It's a nice pink. I'm just gonna take that all over my mouth. Oh, my nose ring is clinging. I usually don't see it too much. Hi. All right, that's it. It's pretty much all you can do. All you need to do for a basic face. Um, if you feel like your skin is really oily or that it's going to shine through throughout the day, I would take the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. It's really nice. Just kind of take the same, just the kind of a big fluffy brush, swirl it in there, tap off the excess, and apply it wherever you feel you get oily, which tends to be for most people, the T-zone, which is your forehead, down your nose and down your chin. Alright, that's it. I hope you had fun watching and I hope you picked up a little. These are all drugstore products, so and they're so they're all pretty much relatively cheap. You can substitute for whatever different shades you want, what tones you are, you know, whatever fits you best, whatever ma kind of mascara you like. I know not everybody likes this um, false fiber lashes thing. Um, I'm one of the few people who really, really, really does love it. Um, you know, if you don't, if you have a different blush you like, go ahead and use that. If you find you're not oily, 
you know, don't use this. I really, really wouldn't recommend using it unless you were oily. Um, but no, that's it. And any questions, comments, you know, requests for videos, message me, you know, privately. I'm always up for answering everything. Leave me a comment down below, like the video, subscribe, that'd be awesome too. And stay beautiful. No, that's shitty. Stay beautiful.